Today is an exciting day for Linux because the project I've been working on with Soup is finally getting played by the masses for a big YouTuber that you may be familiar with. Charlie, AKA Moist Critical has officially released our project, which is quite an awesome project. We're gonna go through it because today is an exciting day. And thanks to everyone who has given feedback and followed throughout this journey in creating a remote controlled claw machine that's in the background over here. We're now able to play it completely remotely. Almost all of this has been put into place. I talked about how this was being created in previous videos. You can check those out, of course, but for those of you who are unfamiliar, I've been working on a project with, with another engineer called Soup, and I want to give you a brief update on the entire project and how the initial rollout went out. Shout out to Charlie for coming up with such an amazing idea. Let's talk about the claw machine game. Initially, we talked about the Moist Claw Machine, which is going to be live on Twitch and now on YouTube as well. So if you're a YouTube member or a Twitch on sub, you can get a chance to win a prize from the claw machine. What does that mean? Well, you can join Discord and you'll get a link randomly while Charlie is streaming and you can potentially play the claw machine game remotely. I'll show you what that looks like here. And we've officially implemented all these things. So we have a browser connection connecting to the cloud, which connects to a Raspberry Pi that controls a claw machine, all Linux based. The server is Linux based, the claw machine is being controlled by a Linux based operating system. The database exists on a Linux based operating system and we have the Discord bot also on a Linux system. That's why Penguins Zero based Linux has been trending on YouTube. It's quite wild how much attention this is stirred up. It's pretty cool to see things unfolding as Linux is gaining more and more popularity to the masses, and I'm excited to keep helping with that push. So a few days ago, Charlie streamed live, and the stream was called You Didn't Expect Me This Late. Well, we definitely didn't expect him this late, but we did have our initial round of testing for only YouTube members to test the claw machine game. Let's check out what Charlie has to say. Through the Discord, you just have to link your YouTube or Twitch account. Is that you in there? <laughs> right now it's just a 500 person test I think they're doing. So there's no like actual prizes in it yet. Check. That we can do on stream at some point. Which is absolutely true. Charlie introduced the claw machine game to people during the live stream while we were testing it out in the background. It was running pretty well that day as everything came up automatically. Fantastic on our Linux based claw machine, but it didn't go so smoothly the second day through. We're going to go through that in a moment, but make sure to smash that like button if you like following this. And we move straight into a new stream the next day and it's called Claw Machine is Ready, which was exciting. Of course, on first release, it, things didn't go as planned. Definitely not as smoothly as anticipated. We had an issue where people who are offline, we had an issue where the Discord bot wasn't quite picking up on all the members. Let's listen to Charlie for a moment here. Rapidly typing back and forth, Charlie and I were wondering what was going on. And Charlie did a great job explaining what exactly happens. And it took about 10 minutes for me to actually figure out what was happening. Turns out the Discord bot could not process the thousands of people that were joining the game. It's kind of expected to have some issues. I figured it out pretty quick. I mean, 10 minutes isn't too bad. And once it was figured out, I had it quickly fixed. And here's a good explanation by Charlie on how to actually get into the game. In the Discord, you have to link either your YouTube or Twitch, whichever one. And then every time I go live, it's going to send out an automated link to like people that'll go into a queue you have i think it's a minute to accept it then you're going to get to see through the webcam and you'll get to play the claw machine get your attempt when you're done with your attempt the next person in the queue gets that link and so on and so forth and it just cycles through which is a perfect explanation and we actually made this even better. So after I figured out that thousands of people couldn't be added to the queue almost instantaneously before another server came up and actually processed those users, well, I figured out how to fix that. Did some coding pretty quick and fixed that for the live stream. After this moment, everything went smoothly, but this was important here as well to learn that a lot of people who were playing were offline. So it took much longer to get a good active link out. We had an issue where people who were offline were getting picked, but we made that better too. And another big deal is the fact that the cups are just too hard to actually win. Let's hear Charlie talk about how he won a cup. Sure, Caleb, that's no problem. Charlie hella rigged it with the cups. Well, no, I, I didn't know it was going to be that difficult. I won it, but I've only won it once. 
and none of the engineers have been able to win it, and none of the people in the Discord have been able to win it. So the cups are just too hard. But there's no prizes in there yet. This is all just test runs right now, basically. Which is absolutely true. I mean, between Soup and I, we've probably played a hundred times by now, have not been able to win this thing. They are going to actually improve this by putting in plushies, making it much easier to win. And the prizes are going to be quite amazing. We're going to talk about what the prizes can be as we've been testing this pretty rigorously as of late, trying to weed out the bugs in the game. We're finally at a place where we can reliably play the game. It's pretty awesome watching Charlie stream while the game goes live. You can see somebody playing in the background right now, trying to get a cup. And he definitely is paying attention to what's going on. It's a little loud, but it's hilarious. Let's hear what Charlie has to say while this person is playing. Play a claw machine? Yep, through the Discord. She's working. Someone's playing right now, actually. And they're not going to win. <laughs> Prove me wrong, coward. Let's see. Nope, no chance. We gotta switch out the cups for something easier. Plushies. Sure enough, nobody won that round either. Again, it's going to get easier and there's going to be great prizes. Thanks to the great group of testers who were able to help get it to the stage where we can introduce this game to actual subs as we did during this round of gameplay. Of course, there are improvements that need to be made after the mass release. And I'm gonna talk about one of those great improvements, but now let's talk about why today's an exciting day. There has been an official shout out from Charlie himself. We're gonna watch some of the video where Charlie announces why today is an exciting day. If you're watching this, then I'm already dead. Cause of death, the biggest smile the world's ever seen. Get ready for a jump scare. I'm just pulling your leg. A smile's never killed anyone. Until now! <laughs> Did that jump scare you? Did that send you to meet your maker? You coward. Grow up. Anyway, the reason I'm so smiley today is because after a long time of R&D testing... Uh, getting into the lab, combining chemicals like Professor Utonium, all kinds of advanced quantum calculations that would make Terrence Howard's head spin. We have finally perfected the technology required to allow you to come out of my computer screen and play my claw machine. I pointed the wrong, I'm still pointing the wrong way. To play my claw machine. All right, how exciting. We got an official shout out from Charlie. Thank you, Charlie, of course. But he is right in the fact that we are now able to play a remote claw machine, ran on Linux, and this is what the GUI looks like. Charlie is actually playing the game himself and you have the ability to see what's in the current claw machine with the camera. And then you can have the controls on the right hand side, which can control the forwards reverse left and right and then you can finally release the claw at the bottom for those of you who've been able to test the machine you've seen this gui already this is the gui i've created in order to be able to run the game controls overall it took quite a while there are thousands and thousands of lines of code in this you can imagine that there are a bunch of servers running in order for everything to communicate there's a camera server something to communicate between our raspberry pi the raspberry pi itself the client and the web page that everyone accesses when they're playing the game something to send out unique links a database there is so much to this project and soup and i have been in the works for about a month and a half two months now working to get this done. And I'm quite excited to show this off to everyone. And it looks like Charlie is as well. You play my claw machine, ignore the webcam there. I didn't realize I still had it turned on. So I'm just looking like a confused cryptid <laughs> frames here. It's a little laggy, but that's because my internet's being throttled and I'm downloading a game right now. So it's looking like Redfall here going at five frames per second, but usually it's nice and silky smooth. Unfortunately, I didn't win anything right there, but I'm just demonstrating how this looks like when you're actually playing the claw machine it's extremely simple i'm sure everyone here has played a claw machine at some point so it's just taking that and and digitizing it just putting it into the cyberspace so you can play the claw machine behind me during streams so overall easy to use and understand how to use you don't have to do anything special to actually join into the game we pick randomly people that are currently online in Discord and that are subscribed to Charlie and that are members or Twitch subscribers of Charlie. So it makes it super user friendly without much intervention at all. Not in its final state yet. There's still a couple tweaks and changes we need to make because it is just too hard right now. This makes the Elden Ring DLC. Notice here it says made by Protecting Soup and Savvy Nick. That's right. I put that up for us. Shout out to Soup for really being an MVP on the hardware side of things. I'll see you look like fucking Farmville. I'm dragging you into the 21st century kicking and screaming 
screaming, welcome to the future, get with the program. We've got AI taken over with all kinds of doohickeys shoehorning AI tech into it. We've got auto blow whatchamahoozits, <laughs> and now we've got a fu- man, I can't point the right way. We got a fucking claw machine that you can play from your house. I mean, what's next? This kind of magic would have you strung up as a witch a couple hundred years ago, but now, in today's society, it might just have you take home a very expensive item from my claw machine. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is... That's right, very expensive items are going to be in this claw machine. Let's learn about what you can actually win with this claw machine. This project has been absolutely fantastic. I've loved working with the team here in order to get this thing running for mass release, especially for the users who could potentially win something big. What can we win? Let's talk about it. Something I've hyped up for like like eight months now, maybe even longer. GamerSub sent me this claw machine and we thought it'd be really fun to use it as a really interactive thing for streams. So that way Twitch subs or YouTube members could just endlessly play the claw machine behind me and actually win real prizes out of it. So the idea was to use the cups in there and just put like a note card with a prize on it. And I mean like actually good prizes. So a high-end PC, so a Starforge PC, consoles, Xbox, PlayStation 5, Switch, uh, just like bundles of money in there as well. So if you actually win something, you would get that prize. It tracks who wins, it even plays a cute little animation and then which is fantastic. Yes, it does play a cute animation and I'm gonna show you what that animation looks like when someone wins. Yes, here's the animation. A congratulations on winning. Quite exciting, of course, with the dog in the frame as well. Of course, it's going to be hard to win, but good luck as I hope this brings more attention to Linux. Give me the address you want me to send it to and I'd send it out to you so you'd get your PlayStation, your PC, merch, whatever. And we've been talking on stream about, you know, what would be some cool prizes to see, and we've got some really great fucking ideas. But, like I said, it's a little too hard right now, because the Gamer Subs Cups are very difficult to actually get. Like, to actually pick up with the claw and drop into the, the victory receptacle. So, the big change we're going to make with that is we're swapping them out with plushies, and I'm just going to tape a note card to it with the prize that you met. That should make it much more achievable. Now, I get this question a lot is, do you have to pay to play it as a Twitch sub or YouTube member? The answer is no. So the way that this works, I'm just going to break it all down. Uh, there is a Discord, which I'll put a link to in the description of the video, which is for Twitch subs and YouTube members. When you go to the Discord, it's going to be blank. You have to connect your YouTube account or Twitch account in order to see all the channels. Once you're in there and once I go live on stream, anyone who's online will enter into a queue system to play the claw machine. And there is a bot that will ping you, send you a DM with a link to play the claw machine when it's your turn. You have a minute to accept the link before it goes to the next person. And if you miss it, well, you just go to the bottom of the queue. And it all just depends on how many people are online and how long I stream for, how many times you can play the claw machine per stream. So it's just a queue system. First come, first serve. It just pings the people. You click the link. You then play the claw machine. If you win, we will then reach out to you to get the address to send the prize to. And that All right, and that's how the game works. Of course, it's randomized, so it doesn't necessarily mean you're the first one on Discord and you get a link, but it does mean you have the chance to play more than once. That's right, everybody has the chance to play more than once as we've been hard at work here. Now, I'm very humbled to hear from Charlie as Soup and I have been hard at work on this one. Kind of the, the way that it works boiled down into the simplest brass tacks of it. Our engineers really crushed this, to be honest. It, it wasn't like an easy task and they nailed it. It's actually working super well. There were a few hiccups along the way that they ironed out super quickly, so I'm extremely happy with how Ian and Nick handled this. Big shout outs to them for this one. It fucking slaps. So, and you heard it from Charlie himself. Soup and Nick helped make this happen. The reason that I wanted to do this, that we thought it'd be a good idea, is because I've streamed for years, almost a decade now. And for this entire time, if you subbed to me on Twitch or became a member on YouTube, you got basically fucking nothing for it. Some emotes, whoop de doo yippee, yeehaw, but really nothing super valuable. So I thought this could be a really fun way of making that have some kind of value and some fun, because playing a claw machine is fun, especially if you can win like a big ticket item, you know? Like, to me, it just seemed like it'd be a fun thing to do to say thanks for the support to the subs and members. So hopefully everyone that's been playing the claw machine has been enjoying it. I know no one's won yet because, like I said, it's just too fucking hard. <laughs> I didn't realize how difficult it would be to win with the gamer subs cups in there. 
I have won one time with the cups, so it is possible, but it's it's just not really happening. And I'm super glad to hear from Charlie. This is an exciting game, and I'm glad that we can bring this to fruition. With the power of programming in Linux, as all of you understand, it's quite amazing what you can accomplish using Linux and some programming. I'm super excited for people to be able to play this game. And I'm super thankful and happy that Charlie has shouted us out. Hopefully we can bring more fun to the YouTube and Twitch community. And I hope Charlie's members get some excitement out of this. This has been a great project to be a part of. We're going to keep introducing more and more optimizations to this. But for the time being, there are many people hyped to be able to get some great prizes and to be able to be part of playing the Linux claw machine as we're pushing Linux on to more and more people. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. Are you excited to keep seeing this journey unfold? Let me know. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.